Hi Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire Signs, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. This is your weekly timeless love message. Um, you will check your current energy, what to look out for this week, and what is the advice. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, King of Wands in the reverse, the Sun card, the Ten of Wands. Could be dealing uh you could have leo in your chart aries leo sagittarius or could be dealing with one hmm okay so the ten of wands is the first thing that i'm noticing here so this it feels heavy you know there's this weight on your shoulders that maybe you can't seem to to put down there's this burden that you carrying these emotions you know it's, it's exhausting uh, you've been trying to hold it all together, you know, but the pressure of missing someone is kind of starting to overwhelm you. Um, there's a sense of being tired from, you know, maybe all the emotional baggage. Um, it's as if you are kind of like at a breaking point, feeling like you, you can't carry this load any alone anymore. Um, with the sun card, uh, this is someone who clearly made you very happy. So you're kind of reminiscing about, you know, the better times, the moments that, kind of made you light up inside, you know, it's, it's as though you're craving that joy again, you know, that warmth, that laughter, you miss the way they used to, you know, the, the, the way they used to, um, smile at you. Uh, it's kind of bringing up feelings of nostalgia. So right now you're in this place of wanting to bring that happiness back, but to feel that, you know, sunshine of that relationship again, but maybe I feel like you're unsure how to get there. With the King of Wands in the reverse. Yes. This is all about the ego. Um, you know, the King of Wands, he can be very selfish. You know, this, this card shows that you're, you're reflecting on your past actions. So whether there's, you know, there's an acknowledgement that pride or your ego might've played a role in how things turned out. Maybe you were too focused on controlling the situation or you're too stubborn to see how the things, um, how things were from the other person's perspective. I feel like now you're kind of realizing how much your actions affected the relationship. So there's this desire to kind of step into um, a more mature, maybe responsible version of yourself. Okay. So what to look out for? Six of wands, the wheel of fortune. Okay. And the six of pentacles. So, Oh, sorry, the Six of Pentacles is reversed. Um, yeah, so with the Six of Wands here, um, you know, this card is, I feel like someone is, is ready to put it, F, it, okay, what to look out for. Someone is ready to put the, the effort in. Somebody is ready to put, put the work in. Somebody is ready to, to make things right. I feel like this is, this is sort of victorious energy, like they want to win you over, you know, to show you how much you mean to them. So you may notice maybe gestures of like efforts that, you know, this person is kind of, trying to show to recognize maybe you're trying it's like this what am i trying to say it's like this demonstration that or this desire to recognize your worth if that makes any sense so yeah i feel like uh, that's what you should look out for keep an eye out for someone who who wants to prove themselves to you you know making sure that you're feeling appreciated making sure that you're feeling valued with the will of fortune and this i feel like this is about being stuck in a cycle that um, you know, especially with a card right next to it, this is a, it's stuck in a cycle kind of questioning if things, if things will shift, you know, the wheel kind of reminds us that change is in, inevitable. So it's a part of life. Um, this is a moment of destiny at play here. Um, you know, whether things are turning in the, you know, in the background, even if you can't, um, even if you can't see them, things are, things are turning in the background. So, um, look, for signs of change, you know, whether it's the relationship or maybe within yourself, I feel like the energy is shifting. Um, even though it might not look like it, it might feel slow at the moment. Uh, with the six of pentacles, um, you know, in, in the reverse, this is, this is someone who took more than they gave. So perhaps maybe they, they didn't realize the imbalance until it was too late, you know? So now this, this kind of regret, maybe, you know, a recognition that things weren't fair or equal, you know, be, be so, 
also um, what to look out for, right? It's it's you being aware of whether this pattern is showing up again, right? So if you're giving too much without receiving enough in return, or if someone is realizing how much you truly brought to the table. Okay, so what is that advice? Six of Swords, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Oh, and the Ten of Wands once again. So it's not uncommon to see two of the same tarot cards come out. I like to combine my decks. If you watch my previous videos, you'll be able to see that. Um, I've got two tarot decks. Okay, so okay, so um, the Six of Swords. I feel like the advice here is. Okay, spirit is kind of encouraging you to move forward. Okay, so even if it's hard, so this is energy of leaving the past behind or moving into smoother waters, right? So um, this is about a, a necessary journey. So even though it might feel bittersweet, spirit's advice is not to fear abandonment, but to kind of focus on healing, you know, moving forward towards peace, so whether it's with this person or without them. Okay, so with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, this is about self-love, it's about emotional honesty um, is how I'm seeing it. So spirit is kind of saying that no one else can fill your cup if it's empty within. So focus on filling your own emotional needs before expecting somebody else to do it for you. So this is a deep healing available here. So where you can nurture your heart, you know, recognizing that true happiness comes from within. With the Ten of Wands here, once again, this card, you know, it, it's kind of showing the weight of this connection. So, you know, um, this is like a a release of this burden or spirits urging you to release this burden because you know while the passion is beautiful it can become overwhelming if it's not balanced with you know emotional clarity and, and ease so i feel like there's a lot of intensity here as well so don't maybe don't let the intensity of the emotions take over uh your sense of peace especially because the ace of cups in the, is in the reverse you know you need to find that balance you need to let go of what's too heavy to carry um to carry alone okay so yeah, that's the advice and thank you so much for tuning in.